Thank you so much. Let's keep it in the Pac-10 and keep rolling with this conference as we move on to the California Golden Bears and talk about what they have done out on that recruiting trail. Some of the big news today was with decommitments. And Stan Hasiak, one guy that was committed to California for about a couple of weeks, decided to decommit and sign with the program he was committed with before UCLA. When you look at this Cal class, what stands out the most as far as defining what Jeff Tedward has done? Well, recruiting's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Three months ago, this team had eight verbal commitments, and I can remember Cal fans shooting me emails. What's going on with Cal? What's the problem? It's a process. One thing they have been able to do is lure three players, three players away from other programs. Mark Brzezinski, the center, was verbally committed to Rutgers. Steve Williams, a corner, was verbally committed to Oklahoma. And then I think they've done a great job on the defensive front with DeAndre Coleman, who was committed to Washington. With Hazyak, I think they lose a good player here. I think UCLA is getting one back, along with Suofilo, as we saw earlier today. That's important. At the quarterback position, they've got to have a system-fitting guy. Jeff Tedford wants the type of player, fits within their system, is going to get rid of the football quickly. Played at Mission Viejo. That's Allen Bridgeford. Two under to Bob Johnson. Really nice. Nice job with quarterbacks. I think he's entering into a program that is tailored to his strengths. Todd, what does this program need right now? Well, it seems to be honest like they're losing a little bit of momentum. I mean, they were they had gotten up there in the top 10, top 15 for three years in a row, and now all of a sudden the last couple of years they've struggled a little bit. They've had some playmakers, but not the same amount of them. They haven't been able to have the, the perfect fit at quarterback also. This year they lose three starters off the offensive line, including Alex Mack, who I believe is the best center in college football, was a year ago and is in this upcoming draft, and then four linebackers from that 3-4 defense that they shifted to two from a year ago. So there's a lot of holes uh, to fill here for Jeff Tedford and their staff. You mentioned that shift going 4-3, 3-4. A lot of that was because of what they had in that right. linebacking core. When you're out, though, on the recruiting trail, are you sticking to your guns as far as what you have done in the past? Are you trying to find the best guys to get on that football field and then after that dictate what you do defensively with your players? Well, it depends on your philosophy, of course. On defense, you, you got to go out and look for speed and defensive defensive linemen. But uh, you know, it's it's you can't change. If you keep changing your philosophy, you know you, you're going to end up in, in with a worse program than than you started with. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of people do that. But uh, the, the problem with Cal now, Rick Newhouse will be in at UCLA, and uh, with the way USC is recruited, it's going to get tougher and tougher. And I think uh, Jeff's done a great job, uh, but it's going to be tough to keep it to the level that he had it at one time. But I, I see the recruits he's got today. He's got a lot of speed, but he's got a lot of good defensive players.